Hello and good morning. Going to talk about uh, liver cysts and conditions that can cause cysts in our liver. As most of you know, cysts means little pockets of fluid collection. Vast majority of patients who will develop cysts in the liver have some problem with the bile ducts. If some of you have watched my previous videos on the function and anatomy of the liver, they would know that liver very big organ and inside the organ they are like a branches of a tree. These branches are uh, made out of blood vessels but also made out of tubes called the bile ducts. And what are the functions of the bile ducts? What the liver produces which is the bile and the function of producing the bile by the liver is for two reasons. Number one is to remove some waste products from our body which is produced from our blood and they collect into these bile ducts from the liver cells, go into the bile ducts and pass down the bile ducts from smaller to bigger branches until they come out of the liver and go into our small intestine through the common bile duct. The second function of the bile is to help digest our food, especially the fats. So when the bile comes into our small intestine, which is just over there, then it goes into the small intestine and helps mix up with our food and helps digest absorbing our fats. On the side of the bile duct is the pancreatic duct which is coming from the pancreas and over here is a little pouch called the gallbladder. In quite a few people these bile ducts do not function or form normally. So when we are born we are born with some abnormal bile ducts. And these bile ducts stop the drainage of bile and they become like little collection of fluid. And these collection of fluid are called cysts. There are many different conditions which can cause these cysts. Some of them are very minor, some of them are very uncommon but a bit more serious. So we're going to talk about few of these in the video today. So the first uh, condition we are going to talk about is simple cysts of the liver. Simple cysts again we are born with, they hardly ever cause any symptoms and the reason they are found is somebody had a scan done of the tummy say for example for gallstones or for kidney stones for looking for some other problem and the liver is looked at with the ultrasound scan or a CT scan and the little pockets of fluid are found in it. They are very very common, some of them can be a bit larger, very occasionally they can be very very large in the liver but they are uncommon, those large ones. Small cysts are very common, maybe present in about 5% of people and they hardly cause any symptoms. Occasionally a very large cyst in the liver can cause pressure and cause, cause discomfort and pain and this probably will require treatment and one of the treatments is taking the fluid out with a needle and putting substance in there which makes the cyst wall get stuck to each other so the fluid does not recollect. If the fluid is taken out on its own, nothing injected in it, then the fluid will recollect in a few days. Very occasionally, very large cysts may require surgery. Second condition to talk about is called polycystic disease of the liver. As you know, poly means many and in this case there are many many cysts inside the liver. They vary from size, from very very tiny size of a pinhead to very very large. This condition is also associated which means comes together with polycystic disease of the kidney which means kidney has lots of cysts in it as well at the same time. Surprisingly although we are born with this condition but does not present until the cysts start causing problems like pain, discomfort, infection or the liver becomes very very large which again causes discomfort and pain. Draining these cysts uh, with a needle is uh, not of much use because there are so many of the cysts in the liver. Surprisingly, the function of the liver is maintained. The liver does not go into failure. The main treatment for these cysts, if they become very troublesome, which means they are causing too much discomfort and pain and affecting the quality of life of the patient, is liver transplant. The third condition we are going to talk about today is a condition which can cause what looks like a cyst in the liver, however part of it is cystic as you can see there is a cyst in the middle but however there is also some solid component on the side. This is called a cyst adenoma 
Adenoma is a tumor, which is a benign tumor of the liver. Only problem with these cyst adenomas is that the solid part of the tumor can sometimes change into cancer. So the treatment for this uh, benign tumors or cyst adenomas is surgery, which means removing part of the liver to get rid of this tumor. The last condition we are going to talk about is called a cholidocal cyst. Again, these are conditions that we are born with. Many of these patients have got problems with their genes. So there are genetic problems in the family which transmit from one person to the next generation and they can cause these cysts. Again, a very uncommon condition. However, they can cause infections in the liver, infection in the bile ducts called cholangitis and some of them can also be precancerous condition, which mean over a long period of time, they can change into cancer. Although they are present at birth, however, they usually don't cause any problems until later on in life, maybe patient in the 20s or 30s or even later. There are many different varieties of this. So you can see this part of the bile duct is dilated in this patient. In this patient, this part of the dilate, uh, bile duct is dilated. Here, there's a little pocket coming out of this side of the bile duct. In this patient, there are bead-like dilatations inside the liver called Caroli's disease. So all these conditions can give rise to infection. The reason is because the bile cannot flow easily. It collects in there, it stays in there and rots and causes infections. So treatment for minor conditions is like antibiotics only. Major conditions can require surgery, either removing the cyst completely to avoid cancer or removing part of the liver. In many patients in whom the liver is very badly affected and one of the Caroli's disease, this type of condition is also affected by scarring of the liver called Caroli's syndrome. And that can give rise to a condition called portal hypertension for which do please watch my video on it because portal hypertension can cause bleeding in our intestine because of dilated blood vessels. And that can also require major treatment like liver transplant. So how are these conditions diagnosed? Uh, they can be diagnosed using an ultrasound scan, CT scan, MRI scan or ERCP depending on type of the disease and the symptoms it is causing. Many of these diseases are only minor, like a simple cyst of the liver, which are common conditions, are extremely minor and they will not require any treatment. However, some other conditions like polycystic disease of the liver, cholidocal cysts, cyst adenomas of the liver are although uncommon, but can require major treatment like surgery or even liver transplant. I hope you found this video informative and if you did, then please remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.